It's Reese TV! What up, YouTube? My name is Sharice. Welcome to Reese TV. Glad that you're here. And today, I'm here with another reaction video. Today, I am reacting to... Oh, holy God! This is six minutes and 45 seconds long. <laughs> Ah, well, as I was saying, <laughs> I am reacting to YouTube Rewind Indonesia. Now, I must admit that at first I had no idea that this was a thing. When I first saw YouTube Rewind, it said that it included 200 countries. So I figured that every country from around the world that allowed YouTube was actually in the YouTube Rewind video that I've already seen here in America. Stupid me. But it makes perfect sense that there will be a YouTube Rewind Indonesia. There were plenty of acts that I know uh, that are English speakers, that are from American shows, that were in my YouTube Rewind. So I expect that there will be persons from Indonesian shows on this YouTube Rewind. So without further ado, Let's jump into this video. What is going on? I have no idea what they're saying. None. Okay, guys. I knew what okay guys meant. Okay, guys. Okay, so okay guys is a universal thing. Okay. Random people in the darkness. You know, that would be a premise of a horror story right there. Yeah, ramen. Is there such thing as like a ramen challenge? I guess, you know, can you stand the ramen that's too hot? Body bottle flipping is universal, yes! I love this music. Arm wrestling. I bet that's Trump. <laughs> Trump is universal. Dabbing. I understand this music. Hey, it's Harley Quinn and it's a Joker. I bet this is Pokemon Go, yes. <laughs> Yay, Pikachu and Pokeballs. I'm guessing that he's one of the artists that did this music. The Grammys? I'm guessing he has a shoe fetish. Oh, that's rude. I have no idea what's going on. Why? <laughs> uh, why is he in her nose? P-A-P. <laughs> P-P-A-P for real. Okay, the American version at least had the real guy. <laughs> Pineapple pen. Oh, pit Pineapple apple pen. I guess he couldn't make it everywhere. Is he doing the mannequin challenge now? Yes, he is! Because the mannequin challenge is universal. I think this mannequin challenge actually beats everyone. Oh, for real? <laughs> that is awesome. Oh. Oh, Kobe Bryant. I wonder if they're saying that this was his year of retirement. Oh, dude, that guy had a Tyrannosaurus shirt. That's awesome. No, oh, we're not, we're not done yet. We're coming back with the hoverboard and a fanny pack. You know, The Rock had the fanny pack in ours. So who is this person? I guess we would never know. <laughs> it's a cliffhanger. We have no cliffhangers in America. That was really neat. I enjoyed it. Thank you so very much for putting me on to it. I wonder if you have the same issue that many YouTubers found with our YouTube Rewind, where there were a lot of persons who were big companies. The big companies are taking over YouTube. Pretty soon, YouTube is no longer going to be YouTube, but company tube, something else tube is not going to be about 
us making videos anymore. There's always going to be a higher stake that we need to live up to now because that's where YouTube is going. The Rock now has a YouTube page. Uh, you, of course, you have James Corbin, who has this carpool karaoke going on. And we have Stephen Colbert that's on there. We have Jimmy Fallon. And then there's Jimmy Kimmel. So we have a lot of big companies who are invading YouTube now. And it's really making it hard for us to compete. I mean, when you see in our trending and it is these big companies and is no longer YouTubers, it kind of makes you wonder, when will YouTube no longer be YouTube? I know that YouTube didn't really start out to be about people making videos. It was supposed to be an actual dating site and it was turned around to what we know today. I'm not familiar with Indonesian pop culture. So can you tell me whether or not the big companies have taken over Indonesian YouTube? Anyway, but until next time, I will catch you later. Bye-bye.